Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about panning and inside Bitwig Studio we have a lot of pen knobs everywhere. So we have here the tool where we have a pen knob and also of course the track here which also features a pen knob. But when you pen something you want to position your audio in the stereo field and this is basically when you use these pen knobs a bit unnatural. So I have the sound source here, which is piano. And by the way, I don't use here any room effects or delays on it. So I switched everything off. It's basically just a dry piano. You can see here the left side goes completely quiet. And this is unnatural. That's not what happens in the real world. And um, I want to show you in this video what you can do with the grid to actually make kind of a better pen or maybe think about these things a bit differently um, than what you normally do. So um, let's go here to some paint um, environment. So let's imagine you are in a room. This is your room basically. And you are somewhere in that room, maybe here, and something is playing in that room, maybe a piano, maybe um, some guy playing a guitar or whatever, a sound source, or maybe a radio or someone talking. And what usually happens inside the door is that you get direct signal from the sound source from the left side in your ear and also from the right side in your ear. So both of these signals, direct signals, go direct into your left and your right ear. This is what happens here, right? And then when you pan to the left side or to the right side, what you usually want to do is you want to reposition the audio source here to the left side or to the right side. So let's imagine we position this here to the left side. And then what happens inside the door is that you completely remove the right side here and only get the direct signal from the left uh, from the left side, which is unnatural. This is you can see that's not what happens in the real world. Uh, at least you get a direct signal from the right side here, also to your right ear. And this one here should be maybe a little bit quieter and also a little bit delayed, right? Because it needs to travel a longer distance here than this signal, maybe. So it's probably nanoseconds or milliseconds or whatever. It's just a short amount of time and it's um, even more amplified when the sound source is further away. So this is one key point of panning. And then there's the room, right? When you are inside the room, um, so this is usually why you use reverb in this setting here, right? You want to put this instrument inside of some kind of space, some kind environment. You usually don't get in the real world only the dry signal. This is why you have on pianos all the time um, some kind of effect here, reverb or a convolution reverb or maybe a delay or something just to give a sense of space environment to your sound source. So you usually don't want to use a dry signal all the time. So um, inside our graph here, this would be basically having sound traveling here to the wall here and then get diffused and then back to your ear and the diffusion basically what it does is it diffuses the sound well actually that's not what i want um you get multiple of these things right get the diffused signal to your right ear it's delayed, it's muffled a bit, maybe a bit filtered because um, it depends on what kind of um, um, material your wall is in your room. Maybe it's uh, uh, concrete, maybe it's wood, I don't know. So everything, every material has its own sound to it, tonality, and it uh, diffuses the signal differently. So this is what you get. And you also, of course, get on the left side here a bit from the right channel and back to ear. Oh, it's also wrong, right? And this is also diffuse. So you diffuse this, here's diffusion, right? 
and also here, of course. So this is basically too much here uh, to simulate because we don't want to make some kind of ray tracing a reverb that's not possible. You also get, of course, your diffusion from here to there, right? And then it bounces back to different um, to different walls. And every time you lose energy, uh, which means loudness, and every time you diffuse the signal. This is basically how reverb works or what it tries to simulate. It, it tries to um, simulate a room diffusion and also uh, with decreasing loudness over time. Um, but it's too much. But I want to give you an idea how you need to think about this stuff. So, so you have your sound source in here and you want to reposition this in the room. And in here you can see it sounds completely unnatural. So first up, there is no room. And also the direct signal from the right channel goes completely away when we pan to the left. So this is not normal. So we can kind of recreate this in the grid here. Inside the grid, we can split up the, the signal into left and right channel. Also merge it back. And we can implement here maybe an attenuate left and right and to use a value slider and we put this into bipolar mode so we can use positive and negative values right and we use the um, modulation out here um you don't actually need to use a modulator and attenuate you can also use a multiply here but just for the sake of to make this pretty simple and clear what happens because you can see the modulation here i use the modulator so um, when we pan to the left, we want to completely remove the right signal here, actually like this. And when we pan to the other side, we do something like this. Okay, so let's try it out. Right, it's, it's basically the same. We completely remove the left left or right direct channel completely. And this is unnatural. So what we can do now here is um, we can say we want to blend in. Let's use a blend here. So when we move to the left, we want to blend in something from the right channel. Um, right, the, the right signal and here also the left signal. And then we want to have a delay, or maybe we can use the Alpass, which is kind of a delay and a diffusion um, in in one bit. So we can try to use that. It's also here, uh, the left channel. So maybe let's try out if we we are left, so we completely. this here or oh, actually that's not what we want to do right yeah we want to remove this here sure I'm right Also, we can try to simulate um, kind of the, um, the material of the walls by using a filter. So we use here a low pass on that, also low pass here. And we can maybe use a value here in the modulator. Let's modulate this and can call this material. So dependent on the material, it changes the sonic qualities 
of the um, diffuse signal. This is completely to the left side pan signal, but we still get information on the right side. And the right side is basically diffused, delayed, and it has a bit of low pass on it. And maybe we can do some more all pass. Or just, just leave it by at one all pass, but we use um, a value and a modulator here. Okay. Let's call this space. Pull this down. And then modulate up by the same amount. Let's go 0 0.3. you can call this pen here and there you have it basically a better panning or a better pen tool if you want to uh, let's go to preset here so we have a pen we have a material and we have space let's call this and this is basically just the beginning just to give you a rough idea how you can think about panning your signal of course, you can exchange the alpas here for something better. You maybe can come up with a, a convolution reverb here. Use the convolution reverb and then use a modulator out, bring the signal in here, and then use a sidechain module, bring it back. So you can use, instead of an alpas, you can use a convolution reverb. So this is possible. Or you can also go wild here with the Alpas devices and then imp implement some better room simulation if you want to. But sometimes this is just enough, just to delay the signal a bit, diffuse it a bit, and uh, use a low pass on there, just to get give the panning a bit of more realism. Let's let's put it that way. Um, instead of you know just completely remove the try signal from from the left or from the right, which sounds completely unnatural right so i want to give you basically basically a rough idea about how to think about these things uh in 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 bitwig studio and maybe come up with your better solution for for this kind of stuff okay so that's it for this video i put the link to this um preset here in the description it's free to use of course it's just you know for the sake of this tutorial and um, yeah, leave me some comments if you have some ideas about it and please leave a like. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.